my college writing teachers told me, which is, you know, in order to write anything meaningful, you have to cut to the bone. And when I was 18 or 19, I was like, what does that mean? How do you cut to the bone? You know, but in fact, that's what writing has to do. And the thing that writing programs and writing teachers cannot teach you is how to do that. They can teach you possibly how to, you know, technically, can, you know, build a story and all the, all the various kinds of craft and technical issues and so on. No one can teach you how to look into your own soul, into your memory, into your feelings, things like this. And that is actually one of the most important things that a writer has to do because, you know, in, in these two novels, The Sympathizer and The Committed, I have not lived the events of the novels for the most part. Um, so I have to make stuff up. And so part of the energy of the novels comes from the plot, but hopefully the other part of the energy of the novels comes from the emotions. And where do the emotions come from? The writer has to imagine them or, and or feel them and, and extract them from within himself, herself, and so on. And so the memoir is partly about that. It's partly about confronting these emotions and these feelings that I much rather would have forgotten. And I think most sane people would. I mean, if terrible things happen to people, you know, a, a lot of people would rather just forget about them or distort them or change them in order to be able to deal with them in a certain way. But I don't think a writer has that luxury. A writer has to go there, has to uncover these things, uh, to be honest. 